Hi folks, welcome to Alan's Advice. I'm getting a lot of letters regarding the industry, how to take care of jewelry, our insurance, a lot of interest background, where many stones come from, a lot of questions, and that's important. Our company is not just here to sell, we're here to educate and help you. I've gotten a letter recently from Bonnie from California, and Bonnie just got engaged. Bonnie, I want to wish you all the health and happiness in the future. Bonnie was asking Alan, how do I maintain my engagement ring? What do I do? How do I protect it? What are the things I need to do to enjoy it for a lifetime? One of the most important things, Bonnie, after a few weeks of wearing it, and often, I want you to clean it. People say, why clean it so often? Because when you wear a diamond, your hand sometimes get moisture on it and oil. It's natural, natural secretions. They get on the stone and under the stone. The important thing with a diamond is, the most important thing, is light entering the stone. I've explained on air how light enters the table, how it's refracted and reflected back through the table. When you have dirt under that stone, it changes the angles of the light because it's a thin, thin film. The important thing is if you keep it clean, you'll leave that stone always having scintillation, dispersion, the things that make your diamond so exciting to wear. Buy a little bottle of Dial Soap antibacterial with a little pump. I keep one by the sink where I love to cook and I'm always washing my hands before I touch and work with any of the food. That's all you need to use. Use that and a very important thing, if you do it in the bathroom, don't forget to put the drain down. You don't want it going down the drain. It's happened to my wife before. Don't do it, I'll pass that on to you. So what you do is you take a soft toothbrush and you hold it under the pump, and as you pump it, like you're putting toothpaste on it, and don't use toothpaste, anybody. It has a little gritty surface, you don't want to use toothpaste, a lot of people do. And it puts a little soap on. You take it and you gently scrub it. And you scrub the inside, the top, you go between the, the stones, between the prongs, and you give it a good cleaning. Then you hold it under cool water. You don't need hot or cold, cool water, and then dry it well with a towel. This will keep your stone polished, clean, and it has, it has that beauty, what we buy a diamond for, for the play of color, the dispersion, and the scintillation, the brightness, and the twinkle. Number two, another very important factor for security and safety. Sometimes the stone over a period of time will become loose. And I'm gonna tell you a very unique way of testing it. Don't put it in your hands and shake it. You won't hear what you need to hear. Hold it by the bottom, call the shank. Put it next to your ear, and take your finger and gently tap it. Believe it or not, if that stone is even the slightest loose, you'll hear a little ting or rattling sound inside the prongs. You'll know it's important to take it to the jeweler and have him tighten it, or call tipping. They'll tighten it and you have that security. Number three, protect your investment. One of the largest investments you make is that beautiful diamond ring. You want to protect it for a lifetime and you're going to want to pass it down to a member of the family. Get a jeweler who is certified to appraise it. He'll give you all the information on an appraisal sheet, then contact your insurance agent, the gentleman who insures the house and the cars and the content. They have a policy just for jewelry. This way it's protected and include maybe the watches and other items that you want protected for the future and for family. Number four, this is again maintaining it so it always looks good. Jewelry sometimes gets scratched when you wear it on the bottom of the hand, you're moving a chair, you're getting into the car. I recommend going to your jewelry store and buying a jeweler's polishing cloth. One side is usually very, very soft, ready to buff it and polish it. On the other side is a little material built in, uh, uh, it's called rouge, not the kind you use in your makeup. It's a little reddish tone to it and it puts a polish on it. It has a little grit to it so it takes off as you rub it. Any slight scratches, then you go to the other side and it polishes it and buffs it up beautifully. And it maintains that elegant, beautiful look for the rest of your life. Bonnie, I hope that helps you out. I wish you all the health and happiness in your married life. And folks, any other questions, please let us know, let me know, and I'll do my best to answer them and help you in the future. Thank you.